Welcome back to another Pokemon Throwback Thursday, where every single Thursday morning I post a video covering everything vintage. Today we are going to take a deep dive into one of the greatest sets ever created in Pokemon history, one of my all-time favorite sets, and that is Sky Ridge. And then of course we're going to be checking Grails, Gold Star, Shiny, and a bunch of other awesome cards on their last week's sales. But we do have to get thanks to our video sponsor real quick, and that is Punch Out Gaming. Punch Out Gaming is my local game store that I go to, and the number one game store in all of Minnesota. I've actually been to them all. Nobody can beat the variety. You can order right from their site too. They got a ton of stuff. Pokemon, Lorcana, One Piece, tons of video games and video game consoles. And they have an awesome selection of raw Pokemon cards. Every time I go in that store, I'm always picking up something. And they got a great selection of sealed also. And you can even come in and hang out and play the TCG. So definitely check them out. They're only located 30 minutes north of the Twin Cities. And the links are in the description. But all right, let's get to it. So we're going to take a little peek at the actual set. This is a set symbol. This is a symbol you guys have to know. These cards are very expensive. Even the commons and uncommons in good condition are pretty expensive. 182 cards and came out in 2003, almost 2004. But in my opinion, this is the best art for all the e-reader cards. This is the best e-reader set, which pretty much everybody agrees. But in my opinion, some of the art on here is some of the best art we've ever gotten. So the quality of Pokemon 2 is insane. You know, Aerodactyl, Articuno, Gengar, Flareon. Let's get to the hollows. And the reason why this is the best e-reader set, you will see in a second. The amount of crystal cards in here is crazy. Celebi, Charizard, Crobat, Gollum, Ho-Oh, Kabutops. I mean, just top tier. And then for hollows, we got Alakazam, Arcanine, Articuno, Beedrill, Crobat, Dugong, Flareon, Fortress, Gengar, Gyarados, Houndoom, Jolteon, Kabutops, Ladian, Machamp, Maycargo, Maycargo again, Magneton, Magneton, Moltres, Nidoqueen, Pillswine, Politold, Polyrath, Raichu, Raikou, Rhydon, Starmie, Steelix, Umbreon, Vaporeon, and Zatu. But yeah, I love this set. I mean, look at this Starmie card right here. Just insane. I actually have this set complete, and I even have like seven Sky Ridge booster packs. But this is a set too that I like never, ever take out of my storage unit. Every time I go in there, I sit down and I look at it. But I never take it out because it's just so expensive and it took me so long to complete. Same with my first edition Shadowless set. There's a few sets that I just don't ever take out of the safe in the storage unit. So, But man, such a crazy set. All right, let's check the recently sold listings. But all right, we're actually going to be skipping the Charizard. We'll see that in a second. So we got a Reverse Hollow Arcanine in a PSA 10, only $225. We got the Gengar Hollow in a 10 for $10,500 or best offer accepted. We got the May Cargo here in a 7 for $85. We got the Moltres in a basic CGC 10 for $405. We got a Reverse Hollow Rhydon, lightly played near mint, for $50 shipped. We got the Grand Bull Reverse Hollow for $50 shipped. We got the Sunflora for about $45 shipped. Same with the Mystery Zone Reverse Hollow. The Mirage Stadium Reverse Hollow was about $45 see if we can get out of these United Kingdom sales here with the crazy shipping. So we got a reverse hollow Deli Bird PSA 10 for $250. Reverse hollow Star You, beautiful card. $33 or best offer accepted with $15 in shipping. Aerodactyl, $50. Crazy shipping again. Non hollow in a PSA 8. We got a CGC 9 Ditto reverse hollow for $90. We got a Magneton hollow PSA 8 for $200. So, I mean, that's a good way to tell how expensive the hollows are. A PSA 8 is $200 for just the Magneton. Next, we got the Kadabra Reverse Hollow CGC 9, $80, best offer accepted. We got a Polytoad here, CGC 9.5 for $250, or best offer accepted. We got a Raw Magneton Near Mint for $228. Reverse Hollow Nidoran for $33, your best offer. We got the B Drill here. Also says Fortress and Zatu for $299. We got a CGC Basic 10 Articuno Hollow for $690. We got a Reverse Hollow Flareon. PSA 10 for $239. I feel like that's pretty affordable. Next, we got the CGC 9 Hollow Arcanine for $375. We got a Fortress Reverse Hollow. PSA 10, $100 like that. I would have bought that. Moltres Hollow. PSA 10, $740. We're going to skip the Golem. We've already looked at that card. We got a CGC 9 Hollow Steelix for $157. Fortress says Hollow for $40, but doesn't say condition. Honestly, looks semi clean with a swirl, too. Wow. 
We got the Reverse Hollow Gyarados for about 120. The Crystal Charizard for 11,000. We got the Reverse Hollow Growlithe in a PSA 10 for 175. We got a PSA 10 Hollow Jolteon for $585. I mean, it kind of sounds expensive, but if you go get any, you know, higher priced alternate art from the Sword and Shield era, I mean, it's going to be three, four, five hundred dollars. And we are talking Sky Ridge, one of the shortest printed sets in Pokemon history, which is a known fact. Some of the best art we've ever gotten for only five hundred and eighty five dollars. I really do feel like we are going to have a vintage boom again one day. Here's the Starmie here. $453 in a 10. We got a basic CGC 10 Moltres for $390. We got a reverse hollow Stantler for $16. We got a PSA 9 reverse hollow Houndour for $55. We got a basic CGC Arcanine for $600 or best offer. Moltres Raw for $203. Here's the Pikachu reverse hollow for $125. Super cute. The Raichu reverse hollow for $55 in a CGC 9. Super curled up Growlithe for 30 bucks as near mint. PSA 9 Flareon Hollow for 458. Kadabra Reverse Hollow PSA 9 for 75. Umbreon Non Hollow for 97. Moltres for 305. And we're going to go up here and check the most expensive because I am very, very curious on this. Now, a lot of them are going to be crystal cards, obviously, but we've already seen a lot of these. So we're going to look at the actual hollows here. So we got the Gengar Hollow, which we've already looked at for, you know, 10,000 or best offer. The Hound Doom in a PSA 10 sold for $1,645. Beautiful Hound Doom card. We got the Flareon in a 10 for a grand. Got the Reverse Hollow Zard in a PSA 9 for 950. Got the Hollow Gengar in a PSA 7 for 810. The Moltres for 773 in a 10, which we've seen for 740 again with the Moltres. We got a CGC 10 for 690, which we've seen. So yeah, we've seen pretty much all the most expensive ones. So here's the Raiko here. PSA 10 sold for $577. But all right, let's check some Sky Ridge booster packs, which like I said, I do have some of these. I would like to open them one day, but I don't know if my body will actually let me when I actually get them in my hands. So that's a whole different story. But $1,500 weight is 17.64. Again, we got one for $2,400 or best offer. Weight is 18. Both Polyrath Arts. Next, we got the Ho-Oh. Love this pack art. 17.57 it weighed, and that sold for 1,000. We got one that weighed 17.36 for the Ho-Oh. Sold for 838. We got the Japanese version. 599. Beautiful pack art. Their pack arts are honestly so much better than ours. Always made me jealous back in the day. Then we got another Ho-Oh weighing in at 17.51 for 1,375. Another Ho-Oh weighing in at 17.678. Sold for 1,700. Uh, Kaboo Tops here weighed at 17.62. Was 1,700. We got a graded PSA 9 Polyrath. Beautiful. 830 bucks for that. We got the Kaboo Tops for 1,100 or best offer. 17.70. Polyrath Sky Ridge for $1,898. All right, hop into some crystal cards. Not a ton of sales here. So we got the Reverse Hollow Zard, which we already seen for $950. Then we got a CGC4 Celebi, sold for $500. Then we got the Crystal Nidoking King on October 11th in a PSA 8, sold for $800. And that's all we got. Next, we got the Shining cards. Good amount of sales. We got a first edition Shining Noctowl in a PSA 9 for $530. We got an unlimited Shining Charizard in a 9 for $19.50. We got an unlimited Shining Mewtwo CGC 8 for $4.99 or best offer. And we got an unlimited Shining Magikarp for $2.39. Unlimited Shining Tyranitar in a CGC 6.5 old label for $330, best offer accepted. And unlimited Shining Gyarados Raw for $4.58 plus $30 in shipping. And we're still only on October 12th. We got an unlimited Shining Gyarados 9 for $7.50. Unlimited PSA 7 Shiny Magikarp for $261 plus $25 in shipping. Next, we are checking Gold Star cards. We got some new sales here for the Japanese ones in a Beckett 10. Just the gold label, but still, the Jolteon sold for $7,639. The Vaporeon sold for $4,472 in the BGS 10. Let's see, that is a little lot. 
And we got a raw Jolteon damaged. Sold for 220. Japanese Mewtwo for 169. Ooh, we got a CGC Pristine 10 Greninja Gold Star promo from Celebrations for 139. I honestly feel like this is one of the most slept on cards, also. Pretty cool card. Next, we got a Raikou in a 9.5 Beckett for $500. And then we got a PSA 10 Umbreon, the Japanese version, 25th anniversary, sold for $128. I want to get this card, the Japanese version, in a BGS 10. I'm trying to get all the cool Japanese cards that either we don't get in English or their version is much better. I'm going to try to get those in all BGS 10s because I just like Beckett Slab so much. And, you know, it's a good way. For me to get those slabs because Japanese cards are easier to grade, so there's just more available. BGS, trying to collect that for English, is pretty tough, and there's just not very many available. So I felt like it was a good way for me to get my back of cards and then, you know, get those Japanese cards, which I think look excellent in the BGS slabs. And October 13th, we got a Raikou here in a PSA 9 for 435. Some of the cheapest Gold Star cards are the Legendary Beasts. Check a few more here on the 13th. We got a Japanese Groudon in a PSA 10 sold for $1,161. And we got a PSA 10 Registeel here. Japanese sold for $1,136. Someone must have sold off their collection. Gold Star Flareon, Ra 370. Japanese Pikachu 269 or best offer. We got a Beckett 8 Japanese Pikachu for $589. We got a PSA 4 Celebi. For $282 plus $40 in shipping. Here we got a Japanese Gold Star Pikachu and a PSA 10 sold for basically two grand, a little over two grand with shipping. And to end it off, we got a CGC 4 Mew for $425. Next, Team Rocket. This is the only sale that we got last week. There's just nothing on eBay right now for these cards. A Beckett 9 Rocket Snorlax sold for $780. It says it has some swirls. Jealous. Next, we are checking out some Call of Legends cards, and I only clicked Near Mint. So we got the Dialga here, $70 or best offer. We got the Ho-Oh for $150 or best offer accepted. The Entei PSA 9 for $227. The Suicune in a PSA 9 for $285. The Raikou here in a PSA 9 for $150. Wow, so the Raikou is that much cheaper than the Suicune and Entei, huh? Crazy. Next, we got the Dialga in a PSA 9 for $379 or best offer. The Kyogre for $259. I used to have this card in a PSA 10. Makes me so mad every time I see it. Sold it. But all right, that will be it for that set. Next, we are checking out the Legendary Collection Reverse Hollows. And you guys know I only click Near Mint for these two. We got a Butterfree PSA 9 for $251. We got a CGC 9, The Boss's Way. For 85 we got the charizard here for 3800 in a psa 9 the arcanine for 127 plus 30 dollars in shipping lightly played near mint we got the volpix here near mint 75 we got the grimer in a psa 10 for 475 and we got the knit arena in a psa 10 for 475 we got the haunter in a psa 9 wow such an old label for 148 we got a Ghastly in a 9 for 147. We got a Caterpie Mint Condition for 63. We got a PSA 8 Venusaur for $500. And I was also thinking about doing this too on my Throwback Thursdays. Let me know if you guys would like to see this. But maybe for all of these or some of these or maybe just a set that we kind of highlight each week. Not sure what I would do yet. But we can also check on eBay for the available cards and try to find the best cards that we could get right now. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Because, I mean, I mean, even if we do all the cards, we can just check the newly listed cards and see if anything somewhat decent popped up. Kind of feel like that's a decent idea. So let me know down below what you guys think. Next, we got the Niddle Queen Reverse Hollow PSA 7 for $78 plus $30 in shipping. We got the Graveler in a PSA 9 for $135. We got the Bulbasaur in a PSA 8 for $294. Electrode PSA 7 for $48 plus $30 in shipping. We got a raw Charmander here. Looks pretty nice for $210. Same person has the Charmeleon for $146. Both were on auction. And we got a PSA 9 Alkazam here for $350. And to end it off, we got the Nidoran here. PSA 8 for $56. That's not too bad of a price. Alrighty, and to end it off, we are checking my Grails. 
and that is the first edition Shadowless base set cards. So we got a Clefairy here in a PSA 8 sold for $509. We got a PSA 7 Zapdos sold for $436 or best offer accepted. We got a CGC 7 first edition Venusaur. Beautiful card for $995. We got a first edition Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu for $270. Next, we got the Charizard Unlimited for 280. It's just so hard to get the unlimited cards out of this. But next, we got the first edition War Turtle here for 152. We got a first edition Machamp. This is the unlimited one, CGC 9.5 for 107. We got the Beckett 9 Unlimited Charizard for 1,000. We had a first edition Shadowless Mewtwo in a CGC 9 old label with subgrades for $2,000 or best offer accepted. We got a first edition Blastoise SGC 8.5 sold for $2,000. Beautiful card. Cliff Perry for $550, thick stamp. We got a Chansey PSA 7 for $330. We got the Mewtwo and a CGC 8 for $875. And to end it off, we got another Chansey here, $195. Bucks. Looks a little damaged, pretty off centered. Definitely got some spots all over there. So yeah, that was today's Pokemon Throwback Thursday. And like I mentioned too, let me know anything I can do to make Throwback Thursday better. We're just kind of going down the list for the cards we're highlighting and then we're just checking recently sold for Grails. But I am totally down to check to see what is available. You know, hopefully we can find somebody a good deal that's actually looking for this card. You know, I always like to know the recently sold because it's just knowledge for when I'm actually shopping for the card. And any other ideas too, let me know. And then if you guys like the content, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a like and comment. Leaving a like and comment helps the most, especially for this vintage video. We really need those likes and comments. And then too, if you guys want to know when 151 comes in stock or when new cards or sets get revealed, definitely follow me on Instagram or my YouTube membership if you want to support even more. It's only 99 cents a month. But all right, I want you guys to have a great day. And if you want to watch my last Pokemon What If Wednesday, click this video here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.